Good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. Dane's Hi. being goofy. <laughs> I'm Lisa Half the Hippie Chick with Dane Henning, the psychedelic dude. Yeah, I was checking yeah. to see what I would look like with a mustache, and it's not bad. Do you think you can grow one that no. healthy colored? No. no. <laughs> I can't, I can't grow facial hair to save my life. So no, so that's why I was checking to see what I look like. Yeah, just checking to see what I look like with a mustache, a moustache. All righty then. Yep. Well, we're glad to have you today, Mr. Dane. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Good. We're gonna um, let's talk about our our challenge for last month since we're wrapping up the month. Okay. And we had um, trying to do more exercise and drink 64 ounces of water a day. Okay. So. Personally, the workout side of that was what I found most difficult. I mm-hmm. always have a drink in my hand, so it was no problem to get my water in ever. Right. But the workout, I, I learned a lot about myself <laughs> that I don't have the core strength I used to have. Right, yeah, that goes away. Um, it does. <laughs> so I've got to work on that because that also affects my balance. Yeah. And, you know, as you get older, balance is really important. You don't want to fall and break a hip, you know. (laughs) So um, I need to work on that. Yesterday, instead of doing like a traditional workout or yoga, I cleaned out my chicken coop. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's that's an exercise. But it was very therapeutic. It was beautiful outside. Mm -hmm. You know, it it, it wasn't so warm that I got hot while I was working. Right, right. And... It was great, and the chickens were so cute. They just sat outside and looked through the windows at me and wondered what I was doing. And mm-hmm. yeah, it was really fun. Mine's been roughly the same. I didn't. I haven't really been counting the ounces by any means, but it's been roughly the same as last time. Just yeah. But you said you had cut down on some of your Mountain Dew, I did. so that's yep, a big I have, deal. I have, I have. Yeah. That's awesome. Weekends are a little bit tough to do that, but uh, yes. It, 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 I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. And I know you like to drink coffee. I do. So you're counting that as some of your water, I hope, because it is. I am. You should. I am. Yeah. Okay. So that's wrapping up. We hope you'll continue to do those things as we add our yes. next challenge on. Yes. Are you ready? Let's do I it. think it's going to be an easy, fun month. I like that. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to do five minutes of meditation a day. Okay. And seven minutes of laughter a day. Oh, I got the. I don't know. I don't know how to meditate. Well, so. we'll talk about that. Um, I could probably do the meditation, but I laugh all the time. We do, we, especially so, around here. We are always laughing. I'm constantly laughing. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see that goal no problem. That's awesome. Yeah. Medica- meditation, medication. Medi- <laughs> no, no medication, <laughs> meditation. <laughs> Some so, say I need a lot of medication because I'm. <laughs> you know, so. so let me tell you about the science based benefits of meditation. So maybe this will encourage you a little bit. Okay. Okay. It can reduce stress and all of us have stress in our daily lives. So it's a very good, effective way to do that. It helps control anxiety, which I find very interesting because I think it helps you just kind of step back and take some deep breaths and reevaluate things. It enhances your self-awareness which is always important. Mm -hmm. You you don't know what's going on in your body. You can't explain to anybody else. Right. It helps your attention span. I thought that was a really cool Mm -hmm. benefit. I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that. And it may also help reduce memory loss. And that's a big deal. Yeah. Well, I think anybody that's like on the go all the time, especially Mm -hmm. with CNAs, I mean, heck, they they work constantly and they're constantly moving. Sometimes mm-hmm. taking, what would you say, five minutes? Five minutes. We're five only minutes. looking for five minutes. five minutes. If you get into it and you're doing it and you feel like you have more time to devote, that's great. Even if maybe one day you do five minutes, the next day you do 10, mm-hmm. you know, whatever you can squeeze into your schedule, but try, try to do at least five minutes. Now it's like you just kind of like sit there and you just clear your mind. Is that what it, it is? Yes. And it can be, it doesn't have to be your traditional cross-legged, you know. Sure. Zen yogi sort of. that you see okay. it can be like personally i find the easiest time for me to do my meditation is when i first wake up in the morning i'm in bed my mm-hmm. alarm's already gone off i try to do stretching then mm-hmm. you know to just limber everything up but you know my husband doesn't necessarily know whether i'm awake or not so he leaves me alone <laughs> and i can just focus my mind on how do i feel today you know what's you know, I can hear the birds singing. I can hear, you know, sure. whatever it is. I just try to take five or ten minutes to just lay there and reflect and be quiet and center myself. Sure. That's really, I think, what's the best thing. If you can really control your breathing, really steady in and out, breathing, deep okay. breaths, that's a good way to kind of get into meditating. Okay. Um, and it's very important to just have 
quiet. Now, some people do like music, mm -hmm. very you know, soothing, soothing music, music, so that would be okay. But nothing that's going to distract you right. while you're trying to center yourself. Right, right, right. Yeah, that uh, I, I mean, I probably wouldn't be able to do that in the morning because if the second I started doing that, <laughs> you have a little I'd go, I'd go to sleep and go right to sleep. <laughs> I'd go right to sleep, but I um, mean, probably right before bed or something. Maybe Surely. you should do it before yeah. bed. Maybe help you sleep help better. Sleep. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, I can totally do that. Yeah, totally do that. All right, so yeah. we challenge this, this you challenge all to do is that. no problem. This I is easy. This. Okay, yeah. and then laughter. Well, we know. I mean, yeah. gosh, all the time we're laughing. But yeah. let me give you some benefits of laughter. Let's go for it. Okay. So it can help lower your blood pressure. Wow. Okay. I mean, they do say laughter's the best medicine. They do say that. Mm -hmm. They do say that. It also reduces stress hormones. So we ought to be very zen this month. We're going to get rid of that stress. Um, believe it or not, it works out your abs. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's a great workout. Yeah. I'd much rather work out by yeah. laughing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, it improves your heart health. Good. Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. And this is really cool. It boosts your T cells, and your T cells are what build your immune system. So oh. it actually helps your immune system. Makes you Superman to laugh. <laughs> or woman. <laughs> or woman. It can. It also produces endorphins, which are fabulous. That's, uh -huh. You know, like I told you a couple of challenges, or a couple of uh, weeks ago, that... Um, you know, I had done a really rigorous workout and how I just felt so pumped and so good. And I just felt like I could do a million other things. Mm -hmm. That's the endorphins. Oh. So you want you want endorphins, they're a very good thing. And then it can also give you a sense of well-being oh. when you laugh often. And there's also like, there's also um, positives, not necessarily in laughing, but I've heard that there's positives in just the smile. If you just smile. It creates endorphins and all of those other That's types of benefits awesome. as well too. And also something that I learned um, a couple of weeks ago is if you're talking to anybody, if you're in person talking to somebody and it's just a regular conversation and you just start smiling, it will cause the other person to smile as well. I believe that. I yep. smile. Yep. <laughs> See, I, I, I couldn't control that. So uh, do that. That helps somebody else out too at the same time. Yeah. And I do know. This is the vanity speaking. It takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Yeah, yeah. So smiling is a good facial exercise. Smiling's too. better. Always smile. Yeah. I prefer That's, a smile. Me too. Yeah, I like smiling. Smiling's better. Smiling's my favorite. So send us a picture of you smiling. We'd love to see <laughs> that. <laughs> what was that? The Elf? Was that the movie Elf? Smiling's my favorite, or something like that. <laughs> it sounds like. Elf, it's yes. past Christmas. I don't want to think about Christmas. Okay, we're not going to think about that. All right. Yeah. Well, um, on our next episode yeah. on Monday. We're going to talk about grieving. I know that sounds a little, a little bit like a downer, but it's I hope opposite. it won't be. Yeah. I hope it won't be. I hope yeah. we can give you some good advice and maybe open your eyes to some some new things. So sure. we're going to talk about that on Monday. Yeah, let's do it. So until then, peace, peace out. out.